most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I talk about this, what I'm implying is that most people, like me, utilize their skill sets, like me, to build a network of social relationships, like me, in order to sell their work, like me, in a way that honors their family, like me, and openly allows them to earn a living. Now, do you in American culture, in American society, have the right to pick and choose who you partner with in life? Do you in American society have the right to walk away from abusers who harm your life? Do you in American society, culture, and law have the right to say no more to the people that harm you? And do you in American life and culture have the right to say fuck you to a parent that harms you? In life we have rights to do things. In rights we have the right to set our boundaries. In rights we have the right to personal relationships, but at the same time we have a responsibility to them. And when we run away from our responsibilities, when we place other people into our responsibilities, when we avoid our accountabilities of those relationships we played with, stayed with, and made with, we literally ruin our rights to them. But what I mean is that you can play into a city and act like you've lost things, or act like you need things, and then you'll but finally drop your guard in front of someone and that person will say I can help you do the best that I can I can't promise a thing but I'll do my best to help you and then you use them for months and weeks on end while you're dealing with the hell of your life the shitbag husband you chose the kids that are sort of out of control and they're learning the devious ways of your husband and you at best the liars that you become but openly you eventually sort of grow out of it because eventually your husband leaves you but it takes you a motherfucking how many years 12 years, 10 years, 8 years to divorce him? Or was that all the drama you were trying to create so that you get more mm, empathy, more compassion from the people around you? But when a man says enough is enough, when a man says as much as I love you, I can't handle this right now because I have my own situation playing out and I really want to talk to you but you aren't too immature to handle this so I'm just going to wait another fucking 3 years for you to be ready to deal with this. Because this whole time you've been playing with my soul, you've been playing with my heart, you've been implying that there's more to us than there is. And the whole time I'm doing this, the whole time I'm helping you, the whole time I'm greeting you, God is speaking to me so loudly I can barely hear myself think. But in life there are people like that, that totally miss what God's signs are about, that totally don't understand that God is planning things, God is teaching things, God is doing things, but he's not doing it in a malicious way. He's doing it so that you will grow the fuck up and come and stay. You see, life is more than just a play. Life is everything we need, everything we want, everything we hope for. But rarely does it come in the cute little button package that you want it to be in. And rarely do the choices you make on your own without consulting God play out right. They usually play out wrong.